Cheers. Hello, welcome back to another vlog. I look insane right now, but uh, that's all right. Keeping it real. It's Friday evening. It's currently 647. I worked earlier today and now I have the whole weekend off. I'm just looking forward to spending alone time. Sp oh, this is the time you choose to do that? Can you just hold on a minute? That's very loud. I'm trying to record but yeah like I said I worked earlier today and I was actually gonna go my friend invited me over to her place to have dinner and drinks and just hang out but I just wasn't feeling it it's really cold out I was working all day I just feel kind of tired and I just wanted to hang out at home alone honestly like just be in some comfy clothes have some Prosecco and just watch TV on the couch and hang out with my dog so we got a little face mask combination going on. I randomly started getting a couple little breakouts. I think it's because it's like a change of season right now. And the weather's been like really inconsistent and back and forth. Like one day it'll be really cold and dry. And then the next day it'll be warm and super humid. So I think my skin has just been kind of reacting to that. So I'm just doing like a little um, charcoal detox mask just on the breakouts. That's really good at like sucking everything out and drying it up. I'll show you specifically the one I used. This is the Pixie Glow Mud Mask. I'll put a link in the description. And then I just have my usual Nivea cream. This stuff in the blue jar. I love this stuff. Every night before bed, I just put a thick layer all over my face. I'm gonna leave this, even this mask. You're supposed to wipe it off, I think, after like 10, 15 minutes or so, but I find that if I sleep with it on just like the areas where I have breakouts, it will completely suck everything out and like flatten them. Actually, I also am gonna have some dessert. I had dinner a little while ago when I first got home. Now I'm gonna have a hold to the cone. These little ice cream cones are so good. I get them from Trader Joe's. They're just like the perfect little dessert because they're small and it's good portion control. I am about to watch the newest episode of Your Honor on Showtime. Tomorrow morning, I'm planning on going to the gym first thing so I can get that out of the way. And then I wanna do a little bit of straightening up in my apartment and then I have plans. I don't know the specifics of the plan just yet, but I know that I'm hanging out with my friend. So looking forward to that. So I'm gonna go enjoy my chill Friday night and I'll see you guys in the morning. He wants me to breathe Charlie. Afternoon. I worked out this morning, showered, washed my hair. There is no better feeling than freshly washed hair. Especially when you style it, give yourself a nice blowout, you know? But I figured I'll just get ready for the day now. I do have to take some like sponsored Instagram posts. So I'll do that and get it out of the way, like kill two birds with one stone. I love being able to do social media as my job. It is so amazing, but that's one thing that like I just refuse to do. I hate getting ready and spending the time doing my makeup and hair and all that to like look all cute just to take a couple pictures for like a sponsored post or just like record one sit down video and then that's it and then just have to like wash it all off it just feels like so wasteful like, i don't always enjoy getting ready and like doing my makeup so like if i am gonna be doing it because i'm gonna be going out somewhere i try to make the most of it oh and by the way the little breakouts that i had where i put that clay mask on last night they're like completely flat now and then i had this like big honker that was so huge you could literally like see it protruding off the side of my face and it was so painful it's not a hundred percent flat yet but 
almost and it's not as painful now still very red but better than it was and actually before we start I wanted to share with you some of the new jewelry pieces that I got from Ana Luisa they are sponsoring this portion of the vlog if you've been watching me for a while you know that I love Ana Luisa I have been talking about them for years and the majority of the jewelry that I own and that I wear on a regular basis is from Ana Luisa all of these earrings that I wear on an everyday basis that I never take out all Ana Luisa everybody always asks me about my bracelets too this thick one was my mom's she gave it to me she got it in Italy like I think before I was even born but all of the other ones are Ana Luisa like this snake chain so beautiful love it I love this delicate one and then this one right here I actually just got recently this is the newest addition to the stack it's just so beautiful this necklace is also new as well I love the little lock and it's just so cute even on its own but it's a really good like layering piece as well if you like to stack your necklaces like I typically do and I'm the kind of person that I like to just leave my jewelry on like this necklace I had it on since yesterday I worked out with it on I showered with it on that's just the kind of person that I am like I just don't have the patience to be taking all of my jewelry off every day before I get in the shower or before I go to bed or go to work out or whatever I need pieces that are gonna be good quality are gonna last not tarnish I have some pieces from Ana Luisa that I have literally had since 2020 they still have not tarnished they're still amazing quality still look brand new so if you're looking for good quality jewelry that's not gonna be crazy expensive their pieces start at $39 and they have a 365 day warranty so that's how confident they are that their pieces are good quality and are gonna last you they're also carbon neutral and climate neutral certified and any returned pieces of jewelry that are not resellable they donate so not only are you getting high quality pieces but you can also feel good about where you're purchasing it from they are currently running a buy one get one 50 percent off sale for valentine's day so if you've been wanting to try out Ana Luisa this is the perfect time to do so or if you're watching this video after the sale is already over I do have a 20 percent off code you can use code SAMBAY20 they have international shipping and they have free shipping and free returns if you're in the U.S. So so whether you want to just get some pieces for yourself or you want to get them as a gift for someone else I highly recommend like I said I have been loving their jewelry and wearing it on a daily basis for years now so make sure you click the link in my description and thank you so much Anna Luisa for continuing to work with me and support this channel okay so gonna get ready really quick I've really been liking this flawless beauty primer by pixie I wear this sometimes even on like no makeup days just by itself just to give like a little bit of glow like look at that so glowy already then for foundation I kind of mix it up just depending on the day and what I'm feeling but the makeup forever HD skin has been a staple this just like has such a beautiful finish and it has like a good decent amount of coverage without looking or feeling too heavy I like this stuff a lot and Oh wait, actually I'm forgetting a step. Whoops, whatever. I just dot this all over. Before I blend that out, I'm gonna do some under eye correcting. This is the Tarte Under Eye CC Corrector. I just tap that under my eyes. I like to put this under my foundation because I just feel like it sticks better when it's just like on bare skin now I'm going to use the morphe m439 I like this one because it's dense so I feel like it doesn't like move around the product too much like it blends it out nicely but it's still soft and like a little on the fluffy side really I feel like the key for me has been just doing like thin light layers even when I have foundation on like I just I want my skin to look like skin you know that's the base like very natural then I'm gonna take the NARS radiant creamy concealer to further conceal and brighten the under eyes 
and then whatever little bits left over I'll just kind of put in like the center of my nose and forehead and then the same brush I used to buff out my foundation I'm gonna use for the concealer and that way it just helps it kind of all melt together and back in the day I used to bake and all that like you know everybody did and I felt like I had to do that because otherwise my under eyes would get like super creased up and now I don't even put any setting powder under my eyes it's all about the thin layers when you're like caking on your liquid products or your cream products too much and you're doing like too thick of a layer then of course like you're gonna need a bunch of powder and stuff but if you're just doing like a nice sheer thin layer and you're blending it out you don't need all the extra steps then sometimes I use bronzer sometimes I don't just kind of depends but today why not this is the physician's formula butter bronzer which smells amazing oh my god I love this stuff just take a fluffy brush and just lightly apply that but like even with bronzer too like back when I would do like really thick heavy full coverage foundation I had to wear bronzer because after I put on my foundation my face looked so flat so I needed the bronzer to like warm it back up, add dimension back to my face. But now like I really don't need that. Then for blush, I love the Rare Beauty liquid blushes. Lately I've been wearing this one in the shade Grace, which I think this was a limited edition shade. I'm not sure if it is still available the formula is so good i don't even really care what the color is a little goes a long way so i do a little bit just two little dots and i love to blend that out with this elf airbrush blender brush i really like this brush it's like nice and dense and angled so i feel like it's the perfect brush for liquid blush or bronzer and I like to go in like an upward motion so that way it's like making my face a little more lifted rather than like just going straight or like just on the cheeks, you know? And then for highlight, I've been using the Rem Beauty Highlight Topper in the shade Miss Mercury. This is so beautiful because it just adds a glow rather than like a chunky, glittery, beaming highlight. I don't, I'm like not into that anymore. So I just take on a little fan brush and oh my god it's so pretty and I love that I can be kind of heavy handed with it you know like you don't have to worry about it being too much because it just like blends so nice into your skin and I just put some of that on the tip of my nose my forehead honestly this I kind of just put a little bit everywhere and then for brows I'm going to take a little bit of this Sephora brow gel and this is in dark brown I th yeah deep brown so I do that mostly like in the middle and on the ends just to fill in any areas that are like a little sparse then I will also take this got to be I get this on Amazon this stuff is amazing your brows will not budge and I just I'm gonna use the viewfinder as a mirror but I just fluff up the front you can like really go hard with that stuff and make your brows like super spiked up and like look laminated I just typically like to do a little bit just to make them look nice and full I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush and that same butter bronzer I applied to my face and I'm just gonna put that on my lid and like in the crease just add a little bit of color for lips I'm gonna do the Charlotte Tilbury iconic nude lip liner this is MAC Bare Bling Lipstick. I'm just going to tap a tiny bit in the center. And then this Pixie 
Lip Lift Max Gloss in the shade Petal Ice. It doesn't really add much color to my lips, but it just adds the glossiness, makes them look like nice and smooth and plump. And that's it. That's my go-to makeup look. I'll link everything in the description. I also just noticed that my nails kind of match my sweatshirt. That was totally unintentional. Okay, it's a little while later. I got the photos that I needed. Now I'm getting ready to go out with my friend. Oh God, this lighting. So here is my outfit. It's very simple. It's freezing outside today. So I wanted something that was gonna be cute, but like still comfy and warm. This top is actually a bodysuit from Amazon. These jeans are my favorite jeans at the moment. They're the Good American Good Loose 90s. I think that's what they're called. I'll link them down below. I love them so much. Size down one or two sizes in these because they're like very oversized. And then I'm trying to decide what shoes I want to wear. I have these combat boots that are from H&M or I have New Balance sneakers. I don't know which I want to do. I think I decided I'm gonna go with the combat boots. I added this chain also from Ana Luisa. I just love layering necklaces, especially if I'm wearing a really like basic outfit. So my friend is coming to meet me here. We're gonna go do a little bit of shopping and then later on we're gonna go downtown and just do like a little bar hopping. There's a big basketball game on tonight. I am not a sports person at all whatsoever, but she's into basketball. So she wants to just kind of like hop around to different bars, watch the game. Hello, I'm home now. It's 9.03 and I am so tired. Man, getting older. I'm not gonna say I'm so old. Nothing bothers me more than when people say that they're old, especially when they're not. So I'm not gonna say that, but I am getting older and it's tough. I, you know, I, I don't feel 21 anymore. That's for sure. I can't hang like I used to. And it's so funny because we were talking earlier about like maybe going out tonight, going downtown, going to some bars, bouncing around. And we went and we got like some apps, watch the game. It's like the idea of going out sounds fun, but in reality, I'm like, girl, just listen to your body. You know, like I feel tired and I don't wanna risk feeling like shit tomorrow. So I'm home. As much as I love going out and socializing and spending time with my friends, and I had a really good day today, I also just, really love spending time by myself. I, I just want to watch Love Island. Honestly, that's all I kept thinking about while we were at the restaurant. I was like, this is fun, but ooh, I can't wait to be in my sweatpants and sit on the couch and watch Love Island <laughs> and cuddle with my dog. But we did go to H&M and I got a few things I thought I would show you. Nothing super exciting, just like some basics mostly. Um, I saw this oversized blondie t-shirt and it's like kind of distressed and worn looking it's also really soft and comfy so i love these kinds of oversized shirts to sleep in or to wear with leggings or bike shorts i just feel like you can never have too many or i can never have too many of these kinds of t-shirts and then i saw this one which i really like i know this lighting sucks right now so you can't really tell but it actually, it's pretty similar to my nails. Again, it's like a grayish green. And then I got just this plain t-shirt, which I really like the cut of it. It's a little bit of a shorter length, but it's like a boxier oversized fit. And these are like the perfect kind of shirts. Here, let me lower this a little bit. This is like the perfect kind of shirt to like tie at the bottom. Just a nice basic, 10 bucks. Okay, I changed into comfy clothes. I feel a million times better already. Look at this little creep behind me. <laughs> it's interesting. I feel like if 
if you don't know, if you're like newer here. I moved from Pennsylvania to North Carolina a little over a year ago. And when I moved away, I broke up with my ex-boyfriend that I had been with for four years. And prior to getting in a relationship with him, I was single for one year. And then before that, I was in an almost eight year long relationship. And we had started dating when I was still in high school. So I've been in two long-term serious relationships in my life and I haven't spent very much time single. And I feel like that one year in between those two relationships, there was a lot going on in my life and I was going out a lot. It, it was my first time being a single adult ever. And you know, I had fun during that time, but none of that time was spent alone, reflecting, spending time with myself, you know? Like I was constantly go, go, go throughout that year. And then got in another relationship. And then even when I moved down here last year, I was just like, oh, I'm in this brand new city. I don't know anybody here. Like, let me try to go out and socialize as much as possible. So I feel like every opportunity, like every weekend I was going out, every opportunity I had, anytime I got invited to do something with someone, I would say yes. I was going on dates a lot. Like I had all the dating apps on my phone. I was going on dates, trying to just meet people, put myself out there, and it was great. Like I don't, I'm not saying that that was a bad thing. I don't regret that at all. But I think I'm just like, I'm starting to get to a point where I'm just slowing down. It's a roller coaster. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, just last week, I was driving home from work and I randomly started crying out of nowhere, just thinking about like my past relationship and like, you know, how I wish things could have worked out and just feeling like really lonely and wondering like, am I ever gonna find someone that is the right fit for me? So I don't wanna say that like, oh, it's so great, I love it. It's just easy and flawless and perfect. It's not. I definitely have my moments where I feel lonely and I feel like, oh my God, I just wanna meet my person already. And then I'll have doubts like, what if I don't ever meet the right person or, what if no one's gonna like me? I definitely have my moments of self-doubt, but majority of the time, I would say like 85 to 90% of the time, I've just felt so content and I've really just been enjoying spending time with myself. And like I said, love my friends, love having girl time, love being social and like I love meeting new people like all that stuff it's great but for a while I think I was just I, I didn't want to say no to anything like I wanted to go out even if I wasn't feeling physically up to it because I was like well what if I miss out on an opportunity my soulmate could be out tonight if I don't go out I might miss the opportunity to run into them or like st something stupid like that and I'm just at this point now where I'm like I'm good I don't have any of the dating apps on my phone, not interested in going on them. Like maybe eventually I might, but right now where I'm at in life, I just like my routine. I've been enjoying going to the gym and working out and just focusing on bettering myself and just taking care of myself and taking care of my apartment and just making my home like super cozy and a comforting safe space for me. I think also it's given me the time to do a lot of self-reflection. Looking back, I feel like I've always been so focused on my partners and how they act, how they communicate, how they treat me. I always thought in my mind like, well, I'm, I'm so perfect. Like I don't have to work on anything. Like I'm good. Like they need to work on stuff. They need to do this. They need to do that to be better for me. I'm not perfect either. And in fact, there's a lot of stuff I've realized that I need to work on. And I want to work on myself and get to know myself and have a better understanding of like things that I could work on and try to improve that. Obviously no one's gonna be perfect, but I just wanna be like the best version of myself. When I do eventually meet someone, I can show up as my best self and I can be the best partner 
to them like how can I have all these expectations of someone else if like I'm not even meeting my own expectations and I also just want to feel happy and feel content on my own so that way when I meet someone they can just add to my life I don't want to feel like I'm relying on somebody else or I'm looking for someone else to make me happy I don't know sometimes I feel like Ugh, it's a little scary because I don't want to get too comfortable being by myself. Oh, I'm not going to lie. Living alone is fantastic. I love it so much. Yes, I get lonely sometimes, but just having my full privacy and just being able to 100% just be myself and have my guard down and like have the bed to myself, not have to compromise on anything. It's great. And sometimes I think, Ooh, like I'm gonna really miss this and I don't want to get too used to this because then it's gonna be really hard Living with someone again. I was so used to being in these long-term serious relationships living with my partners so this life like being on my own is so Foreign to me, but I'm really trying to just enjoy it make the most of it and like not rush through this part of my life because I know that hopefully one day I will meet someone and hopefully it'll be a really healthy relationship and I'll be really happy. But even if it's the best relationship ever, I'm still going to look back at this time and probably at times miss being independent, having my own space and all of that. If you are also single and on your own and if maybe like you're going through a rough time and you're not feeling super positive about it, just try to think of it that way. You know, like this is your time to work on yourself and like enjoy this time in your life. It's probably going to be temporary. So enjoy it while you can. Don't rush through it. And I keep trying to remind myself, I don't want to force or rush anything because that never works out. It never ends up being good. Whatever is meant to be will be in the right time. Timing is everything. This whole past year, I just, I wasn't really enjoying being single most of the time. Like I was, I very much was like, I just want to find my person. But looking back now, I was not ready. Like I was not in the right headspace and I still don't feel like I'm quite there yet. I, ju I just still need some time. That's why I haven't found my person yet because I haven't been ready. It's all about timing and I know it can be hard and I know that we all naturally want companionship, especially like I am a very touchy person with like the people that I'm in relationships with. Physical touch is my number one love language so it's hard for me to like not have someone with me to like cuddle up with and stuff like that. And I just really miss like the intimacy of having a partner and just having someone to like hold hands with and even just like the small simple things, you know? So I get it. It can be difficult and it can be lonely, especially when you are out places and you see other couples or if all of your friends are in relationships. It'll happen when the time is right. I'd rather just enjoy my time alone and be patient and let it happen when it's supposed to than for something that's not right because I've also been in those situations where I'm technically with someone but I feel extremely lonely and unhappy and that's a horrible feeling. Like if you've ever been in that situation, you know you would rather be alone because at least when you're by yourself, there isn't like the stress and the disappointment and the fighting and the sadness and all of that. If you are single as well, enjoy it and get a pet, then you'll never be alone. Good afternoon, happy Sunday. I have just been chilling all day. I've just been watching Love Island. I talked to my mom on the phone for like an hour and a half. Now I'm about to go work out. It's funny because when I would hear people say like, oh my god, the gym is my therapy session. I, I love going to the gym. I never could relate to that, <laughs> but I'm starting to feel that way. 
and I'm wearing the new plain top I got yesterday at H&M. It's already almost five o'clock, so the sun is starting to set and I'm hoping that no one else will be at the gym. And then I'm gonna come back, make a yummy dinner, and because it's Sunday, that means there's a new episode of The Last of Us. It's my favorite show at the moment and I can't wait. I'm gonna go do this workout and I will see you when I'm done. Yay! I am gonna go watch this show and then go to bed because it is 10 o'clock. So I'm gonna call it a night and wrap up this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for spending the weekend with me even though I know it was like kind of a boring chill weekend and I didn't really do that much but it's just real life. Let me know what other things you'd like to see in future videos. Also, don't forget to check the description for that link and discount code to Ana Luisa. And I'll see you really soon in my next one. Bye.